hello friends and welcome to another spring decorating marathon here on my channel. I've combined some of my 2023 spring videos where I'm spring cleaning and decorating inside my home and outside on my back deck. I hope this spring marathon video gives you all the spring vibes and I do so appreciate you stopping by today. Grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy this spring marathon video. In last week's video, I took the time to get all of my winter decor down here in the living room. I didn't do any cleaning last week, however, so this week is the week to clean. I love in between seasons to really clean areas that I normally don't get to clean, and this big window here is definitely an area that it needs my attention today. I'm going to take the time and get all the furniture moved away from this window and get it good and clean inside and out. Then I'm going to roll up this rug vacuum underneath it really well and then I'm going to turn it long ways when I put it back just to give it a different look here in the den and then I'm going to dust off the mantle of the fireplace and then we'll start adding a little bit of spring decor here in the living room if you happen to be new today I'm Robin and welcome to my channel And just fair warning, I have Derek, Jonathan, and JD in the house today. Sometimes you just have to film, no matter if you have a house full of people or not. And so today is the day. They'll go in a little bit to feed cows. But right now, if you could just hear the conversations going on in the background, it would definitely entertain you. Okay, so now that we've got all of the furniture moved away from this window, let's pull up these heavy, heavy blinds and get the windows clean. Guys, I got these curtains at Lowe's, I believe, last spring last winter maybe I'm not real sure but I absolutely love them I've got some blue going on in my living room and they have a tint of blue and a tint of like taupe and they are just beautiful now if you need something that um, kind of controls the light in your room this is filtering your light in your room this is not good because the light comes right through these curtains but I need some more lighting in my home because I don't have a lot of windows here in the living room so I do like that the curtains are kind of sheer and all the light comes through Okay, I don't know about you guys, but most of the time I just do a lot of surface cleaning. Probably the only area that I probably deep clean a lot is the bathrooms, like the bathtub and the shower, things that need to be deep cleaned on a regular basis. But for instance, these blinds, or any blind in my house, I tend to kind of take that duster and kind of keep the dust off of them. But as far as deep cleaning these blinds, like I'm going to do today, I only do that usually with a change of season. So today you're, you're really going to see me do a lot of steps. I'm going to take, like I said, that duster and clean both sides of the blinds. Then I'll take a damp microfiber cloth and wipe down both sides of the blinds. In the end, not only do I take my favorite window cleaner and clean the inside of the windows, I'll go outside, take the screens off, wipe down the screens, wipe the outside of the windows. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. It's about 65 degrees. The sun is out. It's a little cool, but it is a beautiful day. So I'm going to move outside in just a little bit and to get the outside of the window clean too. So because why not? I mean, let's all admit that that deep cleaning is not fun whatsoever, but when you've got the chance to do it, I try to 
to just really go all out and do every step possible so that it'll last a little longer before I have to deep clean it again. And let me tell you, at the end of this day, when I have deep cleaned in here and I've kind of rearranged the furniture and I've put some new, new items out for spring, it was such a great feeling to walk in, sit down, watch a movie. It's a really good feeling when it's over with, but yes, that deep cleaning is really hard. However, in the end, it's so worth it. Let me know in the comment section, do you like to deep clean in between seasons or do you just, or do you deep clean quite more often than I do? Okay, now we're going to move out to the outside and get the outside good and clean. I'm just going to sweep a little bit, wipe down the outside of the windows, wipe down the screen, and then we'll come back inside. And guys, let me tell you a little story. You guys just saw everyone leave to go feed cows. Well, I did not know that they took Max with them to feed cows. So I'm cleaning along, and the next thing I realize, I'm like, hmm... I only see two dogs so I only see Remy who's our neighbor's dog Ziggy who's our other neighbor's dog but pretty much lives with us now long story and then we've got Max who's my older son Jonathan that's his dog so um, he brought Max over to the house today and took me a little bit but then I'm like hmm where's Max I never saw Max come back I haven't seen him in a while so guys there's probably about 45 minutes from when I start cleaning the outside of this window I had to quit filming I had went to look for Max we've got some woods in the back of us that the dogs go to and we live kind of down on a dead end road and the dogs will go down this old top road that's in front of me here that you see here so long story short i put my rubber boots on or i had my rubber boot i had my rubber boots on so i went across the creek i walked up and down the creek calling for max thinking maybe he's you know went to the neighbor's house or something and um, not real sure thinking he could find his way back but just kind of stressing just a little bit when i first start looking for max and um, because normally he'll walk off with those dogs but then he'll come right back and i didn't see him so here we go looking through the creek i call my neighbor charlotte i talk about her a lot here on my channel she owns a trade days that's right behind my house across the creek right on the highway so i call her i'm starting to stress now thinking maybe max got hit got onto the highway um so as I'm walking the creek and calling Charlotte, I'm really freaking out by now. Um, Charlotte doesn't see him on the highway. I get in my truck. I drive up to the highway, drive up and down, you know, just a little bit, praying to God that he's not hit. Um, thinking maybe he went across the highway. So I go across the highway looking for him in the truck. And 
Oh my y'all, I was in such panic. Um, I wanted to find him, but I didn't want to find him on the side of the road. So about that time, I called Jonathan. He doesn't answer. I called Derek just to make sure that they didn't see Max like following them when they left to go um, feed the cows. And Derek says, Robin, we have Max. So y'all, I mean, we have like a little Facebook post on, um, I'm sorry. Yes. Facebook. We have a little group, our whole road. My road is called Morris road. And we have like a little crime stopper, uh, little page and all of us comment on there, you know, just different things throughout the neighborhood. If we see someone suspicious or if someone lost a dog, <laughs> So I had even gone on there and posted, y'all, have y'all seen Max, you know, our big white American Bulldog, and oh my gosh. So when Derek told me that he had, that they had taken Max to feed cows, it was a load off of my mind. I was so relieved. I had cried, and I was so overwhelmed. At the same time, though, I was so upset that they didn't tell me they took Max. So long story short, y'all, I thought I lost a dog today. It was quite an adventure. So um, I'm way behind on getting this video filmed at this time because I had lost, like I said, a good hour. But Max is okay. You'll see. I don't know if you see him here in a little bit, but I have three dogs this weekend and it was quite a weekend. Okay, I finally got everything wiped down, got the screens wiped down, got them put back on. Now I'm going to sweep just a little bit right here in front of the window and then put my furniture back and then we'll move back inside the house. This was quite a job today, but it was a really nice day, so I did not mind at all being outside and I'm just glad to get it over with, um, or just glad to get it done, I should say. And I'll have a front porch video. I love doing a spring front porch video for you guys. I'm all about plants and ferns, so I cannot wait to film that. As soon as my friend Charlotte that owns Straight Days that I just talked about, as soon as she starts getting all her plants in, I'll start doing my flower beds and working in the yard. I try to get all my stuff from her. So very excited to start filming that for you guys. Okay, so we're going to move back inside. This window place here looks so, so good. Uh, we'll pull the blinds down and then we'll start doing some vacuuming here and then start decorating. Oh, I had totally forgot that I was actually watching Marina today as I was doing all this cleaning. So that is Marina with Fearfully Created on the television. I'll put her uh, name here on the screen for you guys. But go over and watch her. Um, she is just very motivating. She's a wonderful Christian lady. She puts Jesus first in everything that she does. And she is so down to earth and so outspoken. Uh, she has four kids, her husband Shane, and Shane has kind of taught himself to be a construction man, and he has come along so far, but I truly love this little sweet family, so go check her out, guys. Okay, so now I'm just going to vacuum this rug really fast before we get it rolled up, and then I'll vacuum underneath it. And wait till you see me vacuum, y'all, underneath this rug. It is so satisfying when your rug kind of lays there, it presses the carpet down. So watching me vacuum and for that carpet to rise back up, it is so, so satisfying. And yes, watching someone mop or someone vacuum is very boring. So as you can see here in most of my video today, I've been trying to speed up those shots that are just kind of boring <laughs> but uh, but still kind of satisfying at the same time sometimes it's more satisfying to speed the clip up for you guys if you've noticed that than if i just left it like at its normal speed so again i'm going to roll up this rug and vacuum underneath it
If I'm lost along the way, if I wander off onto a different trail, will you forgive me if I fail when I'm lost and erased? going to just quickly introduce myself to anybody that happens to be new today like I said earlier I have so so many new subscribers here and I'm so thankful for each of you but just in case you're brand new and don't really know much about me most of my videos I try to talk a little bit about myself and my family but not always um, but just want to tell you that um, again my name is Robin I'm married to my husband Derek that you've seen several times here today um, we've been married for about th a little over 30 years we have three grown children and we just had our fifth grandchild. Derek and I have been empty nesters now for several years. I'm a born and raised Texas girl. Um, we've both lived in Texas our whole lives and we're so super blessed that all of our children and grandchildren just live like minutes from us. I started my channel about three years ago. I was cleaning houses on the side and started watching YouTube a little bit just to get some cleaning tips. And then when I saw um, the cleaning and decorating videos, oh my goodness, I was so hooked on that. So I told my family, I think this is something that I could probably do. Now, I wasn't technology savvy at all. I felt like I was a little bit too old. I work a full-time job outside of the house. I was afraid I wouldn't have time for it. However, with the help of my daughter and my husband and my whole family, I just posted my first video and the rest is history. I've made the best friends here on YouTube. I tell you, it is so, so much fun. So that's just a little bit about me. Um, I do work a full-time job, like I said, so I only post videos usually just on Sunday. Sometimes I'll get an extra video on Wednesday, but normally just once a week. Um, I also have an Instagram account. You can go find me over on that platform. It's at Robin Lane Low, the same as my YouTube channel. I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. Okay, don't forget to leave me a comment of maybe your name and where you're from, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, friends, before I put all the furniture back in the living room, let's go over the layout of my living room real quickly. Now, before we bought this house, this was originally the carport, and they turned it in to a living room. You've got that big brick wall there. You have this opening. When you walk in the front door, you can see right into the living room. I'd eventually love to be able to take this wall out, maybe have like a little column there, and let this all be open, but... For the time being, this is how the house is set up. And I feel like because it's kind of long and narrow, hmm, I, I, I love, let me say this, I love rearranging furniture, but I just feel like this is the best setup for my den since we don't have a sectional. We have a couch and a love seat and a recliner and a chair and a half with an ottoman or a chair with an ottoman. If I put, if I'm thinking this through, I would have to put either this large couch or this sofa couch over here in front of the window. That would be my only option as far as turning things around. Um, and I just don't think I want anything in front of that window. So if you have any ideas, and of course that TV's gotta go in the corner because we're not quite ready to put it on top of the mantle yet. So that kind of takes up some area right there. So we kind of have to arrange the furniture too so that we can see the TV. So right now, I believe the best way to arrange this living room is just to keep the larger couch here on this wall and then the chair and ottoman there against the window and then Derek's recliner and then the sofa over there so and then of course when you walk in there's this I've got everything on here right now this is the new bookshelf that I have here that I absolutely love so anyway guys if y'all have any ideas on another way to rearrange this living room I would love to hear from you because I do love rearranging furniture okay so let's get the furniture back in place and get some decorations going Will you hold on another day? If Here, I just wanted to kind of show you a little sneak peek of some of the decor I'm going to be using today. I actually only picked up like three new pieces. 
This is one of the new pieces. It's just a sweet little bundle of lavender. I picked this up from Target and it was only like $3. So what a great price. You'll see here in just a second on the wicker tray that I picked up also from Target that I thought would be really pretty just kind of laying on the tray. So that's what I'm thinking. And then um, you'll see a lamp here in just a second that I talked about that matches another lamp in my living room. This whole tray was $20 from the threshold line. And guys, I pretty much decorated every area in my living room today with pretty much things I already had. So don't forget when you're decorating for the season to shop your home first. If I'm lost along the way If you find me in a state of this array Will you hold on another day if I'm lost along the way If I'm lost along the way Okay, now that we've got the mantle wiped down, let's start decorating. Now, I haven't had this clock on the mantle in quite some time, and I've really missed it. So, I'm going to add back this, this clock. I'm going to put a tall vase with some simple florals. One of my favorite little lamps, and you'll see here in a minute, I'll put a little fake candle in it. And this wonderful little spring picture that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. This little black vase to kind of add a black touch here on the mantle came from Hobby Lobby this year. This pretty little spring puff that I got last year off of a website, off of an Etsy store, I believe. And then look how pretty this lamp is when I put one of those little faux candles in there. So, so pretty. I love birds for spring, so I'm going to add this sweet little mama bird and a couple of candlesticks. And voila, there you go, a very simple spring mantle. And nothing on here, guys, was new except for that tall black vase that I bought this year. If you saw my spring decor haul a few weeks back, I mentioned I've been trying to find a really big tall basket to go here in the fireplace that'll hold a couple of blankets and a couple of pillows. I just haven't found what I wanted. They've got some at Target, but they're pretty pricey, so I'm holding out to find a, the perfect price basket. But for now, I'm going to sneak in this little bunny pillow and just use a basket I already had and this, this really pretty blue blanket. Okay, as you can see, I didn't do much to the hearth. Just added my favorite L blanket and a simple little spring wreath to my blanket ladder. Left my lanterns, added that pretty little basket with a blanket and bunny pillow, and then my mantle just kept it really simple. Now let's move over and add some simple touches to all of my end tables. Um, again, I'm going to keep it very simple because I do want in a few weeks to come back and add lots of Easter bunnies and some more Easter touches to this uh, living room. So I didn't want to go overboard today. Okay, now let's add my new lamp. I'm so excited that I have matching lamps now. Plus, this corner over here did need some height on it. So, I was very excited. I had to save up for this lamp. It was pretty pricey. Um, they came from, It came from Target. It was around $60. And this year, guys, I've been doing the envelope system. I don't know if you've ever heard of or if you follow Marina with Fearfully Created. She has a wonderful little YouTube channel. And she uh, practices this envelope system. So, I'm trying it out 
out this year thanks to her. She is big on saving up for projects by using the envelope system. So I've been doing that. I saved up for this lamp and I'm also saving up for the new rug that I'm trying to find to go in the living room. And guys, I'm going to show a peek right here of this blank wall. I have been racking my brain trying to find something to go here. I don't really want shelves because I don't want any more added um, space where I have to decorate. But I've really been um, trying to find something to kind of go in this little area. So if you have any ideas for me that you think I might like, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. I also wanted to sneak in a quick little shout out to my friends Donya and Renee. I know that y'all are at work watching this today. Hey guys, and I want to know y'all's comment in the comment section what you think I should put on that blank wall. Okay, now let's work on one of my favorite places to, to decorate, and that is my coffee table. I just love this unique coffee table. I got it off of a website called Decor, Decor Finds or Decor Steals. I can never remember the proper name. This is about three years old, and I just love this coffee table. But I'm going to try out this long tray here. Um, I have lots of trays to choose from, and I've never tried this one. So I love the black handles on it to go with the black legs on the coffee table. I think it's going to go really well here, and lots of room to decorate. So I love ferns for the summer, so I'm just going to add this pretty little cement pot with little faux ferns in there. This another sweet little bird. This one's a little wood bird that I absolutely love. He came off of Amazon. And then I'm just going to add a, a Home Sweet Home candle. And y'all, all the candles that I use in today's video are from last year. I didn't burn them all the way up, so I tried, them, I tried to use them again this year, and I do love doing that. I know some people like to burn all their candles up before and not to reuse them for the next year, but I try try to reuse mine a couple of years just because they're so pricey. Okay, now for our last area in the living room to decorate, and another one of my favorite areas is this beautiful bookshelf that I actually got y'all from Home Depot last year. Can you believe it? I actually, um, or they, I'm sorry, they actually put it together for me for free, and I drive a truck, so I just went and picked it up, and my son Jonathan helped me bolt it to the wall, and I have thoroughly enjoyed having this in my living room. So I highly recommend this. I believe it was around $200, but it was so, so worth it it. Okay, so on the top shelf here, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to add this little lamp. I actually bought one of those bulbs that is like a chargeable bulb, and you can just hide your lamp cord, and you just screw in the light bulb, and it um, lights up your lamp. So I'm really excited to show you guys how that works, and I'm really excited to have a lamp here on this shelf. So here I'm just adding a little faux fern, that lamp, this pretty little picture I got from Hobby Lobby last year, and this sweet little bird. I believe I got this bird off of Amazon. I can't really remember. He is several years old, but I am adding a few more birds here to this shelf. Okay, now on to shelf two, and if you recognize this plant, I was setting this plant over on my granny's um, little sewing machine table by the window, but here recently it's been really, really cold, and it's kind of droopy, not doing too well, so I thought I'd move it over here to this shelf. It'll still get some sunlight, but not so close to that cold weather by the window, so I think I'm also going to like having a plant here on this shelf, so we'll see how she does here on this shelf. And then all I'm going to do is add this pretty little chippy clock. I've had this about a year. It came from Hobby Lobby and to that second shelf. So keeping it pretty simple. And then moving down to the third shelf, I'm going to add this beautiful linen book that I got off of Amazon. It's actually got empty pages on the inside of it. It's pretty cool. It's a great little decor piece. Um, but like I said, it's got empty pages. And it's just a little pretty neutral colored book to add some decor on. And it kind of create a little vignette on top of this book. It's the perfect little size for for that so I've added my pretty little home sign and then I love these little diffusers I get these from Target and they smell so so good and that one actually guys is about six months old and it's still going strong and then on the bottom I'm just gonna add my new little tray that came from Target um, and then this little sprig of lavender and then I'm gonna add one more little bird and it's a pretty little white wooden bird to complete this look and that'll be it for my shelf
All right, I'm going to add one last touch here beside my bookcase, and then we'll be through adding some spring touches to the living room. So come back in a week or so and see my Easter decorate with me while I'll be adding lots of bunnies. Who doesn't love adding bunnies to their home decor? I sure do. I appreciate you guys so much for spending some of your precious time with me. If you're new, I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Maybe your name, where you're from. I've got so many new people here lately, and I am just super happy to meet all of you guys. Okay, I hope you got some type of spring inspiration from this video. Maybe you'll, maybe you cleaned along with me, or you got some decorating ideas. Again, I appreciate you, friends, and I will see you next week. Bye. Oh, is that your art project? Yes. Let me see it. Does it have your name on it? Yes. Where's your name? Right here. What does it say? It says J D L W E. It says J D L O W E? Yeah. I like it. Okay, you want to hang it up for the birds? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thumbs up. Good job. I did it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here today. When spring is pretty much right around the corner, I start making my spring project list that includes all of my outside projects. And usually the number one thing on my list is to start tackling the back deck. And then we start working on cleaning out the swimming pool. And then we move on to cleaning out the flower beds and putting new plants and new mulch in the flower beds. Those are usually my top three projects for spring. Today, however, it's all about tackling this back deck. I'm going to show you guys some before shots so that you can see what all that we're working on today Which as you can see is pretty much pollen and more pollen But go ahead guys hit that thumbs up button if you're here for all the springtime motivation And let's get going if you happen to be new today. I'm Robin and welcome to my channel First things first, let's start sprucing up our back deck for spring. Okay, it's really hard to tell on video, but when that pollen has sat there for quite some time, it is really thick and dried on, and you can't just take a water hose and spray something off for that pollen to come off. It'll get a little bit of it, but it's not going to get down to the nitty gritty and get all the pollen off. So what I usually do here on the front porch is, I'm sorry, on the back deck, is take a water hose, I squirt it down. Then take some Dawn dishwashing liquid, kind of squirt that around the deck. Then take my broom and kind of start uh, rubbing in that Dawn dishwashing liquid. Kind of get a little sudsy. And then I'll go back and spray it off that way. That's usually the easiest way. Some people have like a um, maybe a scrub brush that's attached to your water hose. But I just do it the old-fashioned way with a broom and a water hose and some blue Dawn dishwashing liquid which is my favorite and that's just how I usually get the pollen off of the back deck and the front porch. So that's what you're going to see me do here and I've already taken the water hose and kind of sprayed down the deck some. Now I'm just taking my broom and getting that Dawn dishwashing liquid good and sudsy 
as you can see I have a Remy today I kind of have a house full of people today which I usually do when I'm doing my filming because I can only film on the weekends I do work a full-time job for anyone that's new today I do work eight to five outside of the house so usually my filming is done on the weekends and uh, we're very blessed all of our family lives very close to us and um, I've got three grown children or Derek and I have three grown children and five grandchildren so usually we have several people over at the house on the weekends, which we truly love. Okay, so you see that Remy ran off. Both of the dogs, Remy is the neighbor's dog and Ziggy is the neighbor's dog, but Ziggy pretty much lives here. Um, but they hate the water. They hate the water hose. Um, our lab Drake that we used to have, we lost her about a year ago. She also hated the water hose and she, or the water, and she was a lab. They're supposed to love water, so none of my dogs around here seem to like water. So they all just kind of take off whenever I turn on the water hose. I tell you guys, this project is always so hard for me. It's so hard on my body that the next day I'm always dead because I have to work so hard getting this deck cleaned off. It was extra hard because you'll see here in just a second that I dropped the water hose and it messed up the little setting that was on the water hose. So when I go to try to squirt off this Dawn dishwashing liquid, it takes extra long because as you see, the little jet cycle is all jacked up. So I pretty much sprayed the ceiling the sides of the deck that everything got drenched in water because of the water hose being messed up but I didn't have another attachment so I had to just deal with it and again it was <laughs> an extra hard job getting all that Dawn dishwashing liquid off the deck because of the crazy water hose but anyway a good little laugh for you guys okay so now that I've through with the water hose now I'll take a broom try to get some of this excess water off it wasn't really a really sunny day today normally when I do this it's very sunny and very hot and so my rug dries really quickly and the deck dries really quickly but we didn't have much um, sun at all today it was really kind of overcast as a matter of fact it actually rained really hard this night Remy's happy now that the water's off he's gonna hang out a little bit I think Ziggy might be inside taking a nap I'm not real sure where, where Ziggy is at this point but you'll see all I'm doing now is trying to get this extra water off and then we'll get all the furniture back on the deck and get the furniture wiped off We haven't always had this deck to enjoy. We moved into this house about 1995 and it just had a small concrete slab on the back with a tin roof. My brother built this porch around 2013 and it's nothing fancy but our family certainly enjoys it. I feel like this back deck is an extension of our home so I try to keep it clean, decorated and company ready. As you can see we have a TV back here and a swimming pool so we are extra busy on this deck during the spring and summer. We're also back here a pretty good bit during the fall season. We have that fire pit that you see in the middle and then that tall heater but then winter time comes and this deck pretty much doesn't get any action at all and so the deck is pretty bad come springtime. The outdoor furniture you see here is probably five or six years old. The wicker furniture was a Mother's Day gift from Derek and the kids and I have been looking for some updated furniture to put back here. I love those couches that they have now, but I just haven't found anything that I really like. Over the years, the deck has started to leak, so it's kind of um, in different places it does leak, so I don't, really don't want to invest in something really nice yet until we have those leaks fixed. We're about to build a porch on the front of um, Jay's and Vanessa's home, so maybe I can get that person that builds that deck to come over and fix my leaks, and then I would love to invest in some really nice outdoor furniture but until then this is what we're going to deal with and I'm very happy with it and like I said our family certainly enjoys this back deck it's really lots of fun during the spring and summer Oh my goodness friends can y'all see how dirty that rack is so what was I saying that you can't just wipe it off with a water hose and expect it to be clean because it's not gonna be so okay friends I'm gonna continue to draw off the furniture but in the meantime Jay and Lainey are here Vanessa is at work today and so uh, Jay is gonna help Derek install our keyless door lock so excited about that 
So while I continue to dry everything off, and they are going to install that door lock. In the meantime, guys, I want to show you a quick shot of Lainey. I know so many of my friends out there prayed for her when she was first born. Back in November, we had some complications. Um, and so for several weeks, she was in a hospital, and we were so concerned with her. But God has definitely showed favor over her. And wait till you see her, guys. She's gotten so, so big. And here she is, friends. She's almost outgrown her bouncy. She uh, was born in November, so she's almost five months old. She is such a precious little angel. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Her hair is getting curly as it gets longer. And she is certainly bringing us a such joy to our family. Okay, now let's get to the good part, decorating. You'll be able to see here in a little bit that the deck is pretty much dried all the way. Um, it dried quicker than I thought it was going to. And when I decorate my back deck and my front porch during the springtime, I love to add lots and lots of plants. Uh, both of my grandmothers had really great green thumbs, so plants are just my favorite thing to do. And it helps when you have a really great friend that also has a plant center where you can go up and buy lots of plants. As of today, guys, I still have not made it back Charlotte's to get any of her um, flowering plants to add some color and life to my front and back porch. That will hopefully get done soon. Um, as I'm doing this voiceover today, Texas has had, or our little hometown has had, about five inches of rain over the past couple of days. This is an early uh, Friday morning, and it is still raining outside, so I still haven't made it by Charlotte's to get any of her plants. Easter Sunday is coming up, so hopefully the weather will start getting better once Easter has passed, and then I'll get back here, guys, and add lots of color to the porch. But today, we're just kind of going with some ferns and some green plants to get us going back here on the deck, and then we'll spruce it up with some color in about a week. Pretty much everything you see me decorate with back here is something I already had. All of my plant containers. And uh, I did pick up a couple of things. That sweet little bunny is from Lowe's. Um, and that little birdhouse that you just saw. I believe that came from the dollar section at Target. So I did have a couple of new things back here to kind of spruce up at the back deck. Because my main goal today is to have everything ready for Easter. And you'll be watching this video hopefully on Easter Sunday. And so that's what I'm trying to do here today is just get this deck in order and clean. Now, if y'all could see the pool today, oh my goodness, the pool is a filthy. That'll be my next project. But today's project was just to get this deck, live this deck livable, entertainable, so that it's ready for all the kids to come over on Easter Sunday. Oh, and I did pick up those little Cendronilla candles. Those come from Lowe's also.
I forgot about this uh, doormat here. I guess you could call this new. I actually got this doormat last spring, y'all. I ordered it last spring, but it actually took like almost four months to come in. As a matter of fact, when it came in, I'd even forgotten that I had ordered it. So by the time it came in, it was getting fall. So I just kept it for this video for spring. So it's been in my shed for some time now. I actually got two of them. So I saved one for another video, but isn't it just gorgeous? Uh, so, so pretty. Um, I will try to link those below in the comment section. So here's another quick look at the back door. I just love this door handle on here. It's so modern. It's so pretty. And I didn't tell you guys that that um, keyless door entry also comes in a nickel finish. But of course, I chose the black. I thought the black would look a lot better on the back door. So I'm going to give you all a couple of shots of the back deck and all the decor I've added to it. There's another section to my deck over with the, where the um, gas grill and another little table is and I'll work on that section later but this is the main section that I wanted to work with today and I think everything turned out really pretty very relaxing and definitely ready for all my family and most importantly the Easter Bunny Welcome back to my channel. This afternoon I'm on my back deck. I've got some chores to do outside. I spent the morning doing some chores inside. So now it's time to spend this beautiful afternoon and get some chores done on my back porch and my front porch. I've got some new rugs to put out. I've got some some plants to pot. So lots of chores to be done this afternoon. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful day God has given us. If it's not spring quite yet in your hometown, maybe you'll come along with me today and let me share some of my sunshine here today in Texas. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. Okay, I wanted to start off by just showing you guys some before looks of the back deck. If you missed my video, I think it was last Wednesday, I got out here and used the water hose and a broom, some Dawn dishwashing liquid, and um, washed off the deck, scrubbed it down really well, and then I put all my patio furniture back on and added like some ferns, a lot of greenery, some palm trees to the back deck. But at that time, I did not have my spring plants bought yet from my friend Charlotte's. So I also uh, did a video where I went to Charlotte's and did some shopping and picked up my spring plants to put on the back porch. And finally, today is the day that we get to get out in this beautiful sunshine and pot up a bunch of my plants that I bought and add some color to this back deck. So I'm very excited to do that. This is actually my first day also to have shorts on since uh, spring has sprung here in Texas. So I was very happy. I do have a long sleeve shirt on because it was kind of chilly in the shade, but what a beautiful day that we have today. A perfect day to get out on the back porch and kind of give it a little spring refresh. So what you're going to see me here do is use my blower ladies if you're an outside person and have not invested in a blower yet oh my this is a battery operated one it came with two batteries so i always have one charged up and it is so so handy now it won't do like the deep stuff like when i deep cleaned my my porch a few weeks back i pretty much had to use a broom to get that pollen off there but 
once you kind of get your patio in order, it works so, so well. Okay, now here's a quick shot of all my spring plants that I mentioned that I bought at Charlotte's. If you happen to see my video uh, last Sunday, I believe you saw me shopping for all these beautiful plants. This is one of the areas that I really need to spruce it up for spring. It's in pretty bad shape. And then here's my second area that we really need to, that needs my attention really bad too. You see Z there enjoying the sun. Did y'all see that dog earlier, guys? Did I know y'all did not recognize him. He's a new dog in the neighborhood. He belongs to a new neighbor across the street. Uh, she's a lab. I haven't figured out what her name is yet, but I'm hoping to meet our new neighbor and see what her name is. But she hung out with us all day today. Here's another uh, project that I've got to get done. It won't be today, but I've got to get out here and pull all of these weeds out. It's easier to do that when the ground is wet. So hopefully I can get to that pretty soon. Derek has started on the pool. Look how clean he's got it, guys. Now, it, we had a thunderstorm uh, Friday, Thursday night, I believe. So there's lots of limbs in there and leaves I've got to get out. But the pool is almost ready. So excited for that. Now, the first thing I've got to do, um, I cannot stand it when that little flag gets all wound up. Um, I like it flowing in the air. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to take a broomstick real quickly and get this flag situated, get it untangled, and then we'll go and make some birds happy by filling up our bird feeders. got two bird feeders here underneath this mimosa tree and I've got two more on the other side of the house but these are the only two that I'm going to fill up today. I should have bought some extra bird seed and did not get around to it so I only have enough for these two bird feeders today and this is just something I just love to do. Really I probably feed the squirrels more than I feed the birds because the birds and the squirrels spot over it big time. I think there's some bird feeders out there that'll keep the squirrels from getting the feed but I do enjoy watching those squirrels try to get to those birds uh, food and they fight half the time but anyway so I'm just going to fill up these two bird feeders today it is such a joy to sit on this back deck and watch the hummingbirds watch the squirrels watch the birds eat off the bird feeders it's just a fabulous way to spend my mornings now during the week I don't really get out here on my porch in the morning times but I definitely do when spring hits around here every Saturday and Sunday morning I'm usually out here with my coffee watching the birds or watching some type of animal here in the backyard I certainly enjoy this country living Okay, now with that chore done, let's move back to the deck and let's get some plants taken care of. Um, we're going to replace first this mum that you see here in that smaller wicker basket. Y'all, that is a mum that I got back in the fall and I just left it in the pot that I bought it in. You can see it's kind of all tore up, but um, they will come back. I've said before, if you cut your mums back in the fall, you can plant them in a flower bed or leave them in the pot that you have them in. And if the frost doesn't get them, they will grow back. So that's what that was. I just took out of that basket. It's a mum that I got back in the fall. I can't wait for it to bloom. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It looks so healthy and then I'm going to replace it with this absolutely stunning hydrangea that I got from Charlotte's uh, plant center that she has here in our little hometown and um, I'm hoping she gets some more in because I would really like to have some on the front porch and some in the flower beds if you're watching this video today and you're from my little area uh, in Texas, go by and check out David and Charlotte's trade days. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in the plants that she buys. Okay, now let's get our hands dirty or should I say let's get our gardening gloves dirty and let's start potting up some of these plants. Now y'all, I kind of treat my uh, plants outside kind of the way I do my vignettes inside my house. I kind of create vignettes inside my clay pots. I love big clay pots. Pots. Most of these that you see today were Derek's grandmother's from her home. And so when she passed away, I just brought them to my home and they are 
very old and I just love using them and I'm showing you guys here my little shovel that I have the dog's got a hold of it I've got to buy some more gardening tools but for today we're gonna work with what we have now I'm gonna go ahead and just take out some of the plants that were still surviving in this big pot not all of them these are strings of pearls that I used last year and they survived the winter so I'm just gonna take a few out and then um, you've heard this saying when you go to pot up a, a big planter like that that you need to use a let's see how do they say it you need to use a thriller which is a really tall plant um, a filler something that kind of fills in your extra area and then a spiller something that as it grows it'll kind of spill over to the side so that's what I'm gonna try to develop here today I'm gonna leave like I said some of that string of pearl in there to kind of be some of my filler and wait till you see my pink geranium that I picked up from Charlotte's to be my thriller I really just love that pink geranium in that clay pot. I think it looks so good. I love the way this turned out. I bought some of the Dusty Miller, which I'll show you in a second the actual name of it. That is the little white plant you see there as my filler. And then I bought, I think it's called Perslane. I can't say that correctly, with the little flowers on it. And um, that is what I bought for my spiller because as that grows, it'll just kind of grow down that pot. And I'm not sure what you call this type of plant, but that lane Charlotte correct me I know I'm saying that wrong you can just clip that off and stick it in the ground and it'll root so that's really a cool plant to have so if you notice I did buy a big tray of that to have a whole bunch of it because that will really multiply lane I think that's how you say that anyway I love that little plant um, like I said it's very versatile you just clip it off and you can stick it in another flower bed or another pot it'll grow its own little plants that's pretty cool Okay, so one pot down. Now let's work on this next pot. And guys, I just had to show y'all what was going on behind me as I was working on my plants today. The dogs were definitely enjoying this really nice, cool weather. So again, all I'm going to do is clean out this soil, take some out, and make some room for some more plants.
Okay, so now my second clay pot is ready. And guys, I've got to change gloves at this point because I had I mentioned that it had stormed a couple nights before. So this soil that was in these two clay pots were really wet. So these gloves by now are soaking wet. So I'm going to change gloves just real quickly because we're getting everything dirty and change into some new ones. But so these are the only two clay pots I have here. And then in just a second, you'll see me take a really pretty turquoise pot that I've had this for a long, long time just to add some color um, here to that little area and I'm just going to finish this plant by putting this putting some of that spiller I'm just going to fill it up with that and put it down with the other clay pots just kind of create like a little vignette there um, on the side of the porch I really decorate my back deck and my front porch pretty much the way I do the inside of my home I pick out little areas to decorate, create little vignettes, little sitting areas in different spots, and I try to have it kind of all color coordinated. I love turquoise and blue here on the back deck. So that's pretty much um, when it comes to decorating my back deck. That I just have little areas that I decorate, I guess you could say. I'm just a firm believer that the outside of your home says a lot about the inside of your home. So I know during the winter, my outside areas are not that pretty to look at, but come spring or summer, you can be guaranteed that the outside of my home is going to be as pretty as I can make it. And I try to do it you know, very inexpensively. I try not to buy new pots every year. I have to buy new cushions sometimes every year because the dogs get a hold of our cushions that go on our furniture, but I do try to keep it pretty you know budget friendly back here because things are going to get um, rained on and storms are going to come through and things like that so okay so speaking of areas to decorate here's another area that I like to keep cute over here in this little corner I like to keep I say keep cute I like to keep it decorated I thought I was going to use that little bench here but it was just a little bit too big so I ended up not using the bench there you'll see that pretty much all this stuff is going to go away I did just kind of have everything stacked up there to see what all I was going to use but I do like when you kind of come into the back um, yard turn that corner and when you see the deck I really like this little area right here to be really pretty because that's the first thing you see when you walk in the back, uh, backyard so that's very important to me so these are also two pots again that big white pot is was Derek's grandmother so it's very important to me and um, so I always keep this I think this is called a stargazer you'll see it there that it's blooming it's absolutely beautiful Charlotte again correct me if I'm wrong but that is a perennial perennial I believe and that means they come back every year so it'll die off I'll cut it back and then it'll just bloom and it just grows so quickly um, a lot of my plants today are annuals and they will die off but a perennial comes back every year hopefully if the frost doesn't get it so all I'm gonna do here is just again clean out this little pot some I love having those little lights that you see there in my big pots and at night time, you can look out the back door and all the lots are, um, all those little lots are in my plants are shining and they're so, so pretty. guys in these pots there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing in these pots I'm just uh, trying to use up all the plants that I still have I just kind of have to be careful of what plants I put here because these two pots do catch some of the rain water when it rains so I have to be pretty careful as you can see here the soil is pretty wet still and it's been I think two days since it's rained so this airplane plant or what I call it airplane plant I'm not sure what the proper word for that is but it's gonna do well here because it likes to be wet so again no rhyme or reason to what I'm putting in this pot I'm just putting what I have left over and uh, guys there's just something about working in the yard 
to me. Getting your hands dirty, planting flowers, watching them grow. I just absolutely love it. It's so therapeutic to me. Okay, so you saw the rug that was on by the back door. I was saving this rug for this video because I was waiting to get this area kind of cleaned up. Of course, Remy's needing some sugars while I'm getting this rug down. These dogs, I don't know how I got anything done today because they were all three following me everywhere today but those rugs I think are absolutely gorgeous they just make this back deck I was so so happy with them when they came in um so okay so all we're gonna do here I think that uh, big white plant is called a begonia yeah and it is absolutely beautiful and uh, when I go back to Charlotte's to get hopefully some more of the um, hydrangeas she'll have some more of those begonias because they are beautiful Okay, I'm going to add a few more lots to these plants to just kind of complete them. I just, again, love that look. So if you've never done that before, uh, I just get these from the Dollar Store. These might have came from Walmart because they're a little bit more sturdier than the ones from the Dollar General. But they last, they'll last me all spring and summer and I just love them. They're like an LED light. So, you know, they get their sunshine when the sun's out and then they'll... They get their light in the daytime when the sun is out. And then at night when all the lights are off, it's just so pretty outside on the deck. I've also put them on the front porch. But I just highly recommend those, guys. If you haven't got any yet, maybe you've got some down your walkway, but you've never thought to put them inside your plants, just try them out. I think it just adds such a nice touch to any porch. And guys, I know I am showing a lot of the dogs today, but as I said earlier, they pretty much were by my side all day, all afternoon, I guess I could say. The whole time I was out here, one of them was by me. Um, they pretty much rested in the sun and just really enjoyed their afternoon with me. I really enjoyed having them around also. But Okay, now I'm just going to take the time to get some lights lit. Um, these citronella candles were from Target. Uh, I've got a couple of the tall uh, citronella candles candles that you'll see here in a second that go like it out in the yard uh, I could only get one to lot today the other one was I guess I didn't have any oil in it but if you don't have any of those oil lanterns like the one you're about to see me lot those are pretty cool too now this one was like a inferno when I lit it it, it was really huge so I, was, <laughs> I didn't let that it kind of burn it's got to kind of burn off for a little bit so look it gets really 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 big but eventually it dies down but if this was about 6 30 6 45 at night I was still home alone. The neighbors had their kids over. They were playing volleyball. I had music on and my TV here on the back deck. I fixed me a big girl drink after I had done all this work. And I'll probably sit out here for like 45 minutes and just enjoyed all of my hard work. So I encourage you to get out onto your, even if it's just a little patio section, a little front porch, a little nook, and just add maybe a cute little chair, a comfortable chair, uh, some candles, and make this an extension of your home like I try to do my home. Our house is not that big but with this deck added on there we just thoroughly enjoy this deck uh, throughout the spring and throughout the summer so I sure hope I've encouraged you to do the same at your home. Thank you so much, friend, if you're still watching my video and you're still hanging in here with me. I greatly appreciate that. If you happen to be new, I'd love it if you leave me a comment in the comment section, maybe where you're from, your name. I have an Instagram account. If you want to follow me over on that platform, you can find me at Robin Lane Low. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see you next week. Bye.